Hi, I'm Janine Brennan, librarian at A. Carper Library, and I'm here to talk about Library of Things. We are excited to have a user of our Library of Things talk about the Instant Pot. So I'm going to let her take it away. Here comes Kirsten. Hi, my name is Kirsten Jackwit. I work down at the Crest Pavilion as a wedding event coordinator in the summertime. Um, but I'm here today to kind of showcase and to work with a new appliance that's down at the Egg Harbor Branch Library in the Library of Things cabinet. We have here an Instant Pot Duo. Um, so they've been getting in a couple different kitchen appliances. There's a juicer and a pasta maker, and this is something else that's been added. Um, so I'm just going to take you through how I'm going to make dinner tonight here. Uh, so this is handy for me. Um, as you can see in the background, I have my other home Instant Pot going. I'm fermenting some yogurt. That amount of time takes 36 hours to do. So I wanted to make a pork loin for dinner. And uh, since that was tied up, I checked this one out. So we're going to have two of them going and I can still have a tasty dinner. So what I've done here is pulled out the stainless steel pot from the Instant Pot cooker and inside we've got a lovely barbecue sauce over a pork loin you see there's the trivet that it's resting on so it's not just touching the bottom and with any pressure cooking with the instant pot you want at least a minimum of a cup of water to help generate that steam for pressurized cooking so it can be just as simple as that. Some people like to toss in various vegetables. One thing to note that's handy, I don't know if we can see it on here very well, but they have here the maximum of how high you can fill um, this pot for pressurized cooking because anything else will boil up and over. So, um, so we'll get this set inside. And I'll show you how to work this. So it nestles in just like that. For the cover, there is an arrow, and you'll just match it up. It's happy. So on the screen, there's a smart program settings, depending on what you're doing. In this instance, I just want to pressure cook. So I'm going to select the pressure cook option. Now you can select which type of pressure, low pressure or high pressure. Um, so it just depends how much time you have. They say about one hour for high pressure. So in this instance, since I have a little bit more time, I'm going to put it on low for two hours. So I'm going to select the pressure level button and just make sure that low pressure is selected. Then my timer here, it says 45 minutes to change that. There's just the plus and minus buttons. So I'm going to put that up to two hours. Almost there. All right. Now the keep warm indicator is also on, which means once two hours goes by, it can still keep the meat warm. All right, so it is starting. And if you didn't want that keep warm feature, you can just push that button and have that come off. So that's all there is to it to get it going. I will check back in with you once that two hour time frame comes up and show you what it looks like. Hi, we're back again. Um, so as you can see by the timer on the Instant Pot, We've got one minute left, so I wanted you to be able to see um, that countdown there. Um, so the entire, well, I should say, once it's preheated, then the timer kicks on. So it showed two hours, and then it um, progressively counted down here. Um, so once it gets to zero, it'll probably let out a little chime or something. Um, if I weren't here, yeah, there we go it would then kick into that keep warm mode. 
Um, so if I got tied up doing something, I don't have to worry, it can still stay warm. Um, but otherwise, since I am right here right now, um, we are going to release the pressure. Um, so kind of hard to see here, but on top of the cover, there is a switch here. At the top it says seal, at the bottom it says vent. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna flip it to vent and this is where all of the hot pressure will escape from. So definitely wanna do it in a space where you have ventilation. That's why I pulled the Instant Pot out from underneath the cabinets when it was tucked away uh, while it was cooking before. So this takes a minute or so. I'm also going to push cancel to shut it off. So until all of that pressure has been released, you will not be able to open that lid. It is in locked mode right now. Slowing down. So I don't know if you heard that little click, but that was this little metal circle here. When it's raised up, it's sealed with pressure. Now, since we've completely vented it, it dropped down. So now I know that it's safe and the lid can be unlocked. So just a turn. Careful doing this. I always have cooling racks nearby to set everything down on. There's the inside. You can still see the juices are bubbling. Everything's very, very hot. So what you can do at this point is you can take oven mitts and grab the edges of that trivet to place on a plate that's typically what I do or if you have a set of tongs you can um, try to pick up the pork loin in itself but a lot of times um, it's, it's so juicy it just falls right apart so which isn't a bad thing Get my platter ready here And there, dinner's done. So at this point, since the main dish is done, I can just easily grab some steamed broccoli. Uh, that's super easy for the kiddos, or husband likes it with um, rice cauliflower steamed on the side, and you can shred, shred that up on top. Um, all sorts of combinations you can do from here, but um, it makes a long job go very quick and very easy. So. Anyway, hope this was helpful, and again, just talk with Janine at the Egg Harbor Library. 
about checking out the Instant Pot. Have a good one. Take care. Instant Pot. I just want to mention a couple of things. We have lots of books in the library that will tell you how to do it. I'm a novice and I just made a fantastic uh, pot sticker bowl that I found in a, a library cookbook on keto diet, which it was a great recipe. And so pick up a book at the library. It'll help you with your Instant Pot journey. And the other thing I wanted to talk about was cleanup. It's really easy to clean this up. Just hand wash this gently. And then this can go in the bottom of your dishwasher if you want. And this can go in your dishwasher top shelf. Thanks again for watching this video.